Marcus Kelly from Illinois Radio. We're supposed to be having an interview today. Yeah. What's going down with you? We're live on the air, man. I wanted you to uh, talk to the people a little bit and get to, uh, to get to know you. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. You have time right quick? I go by Vinny on the beat. Vinny on the beat? Family I said, you have time? Vinny, Vinny, D-I-D-D-Y. Vinny. 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 Show for me from the video. So. Okay. All right. So you're from New York? You know, I'm, a, I'm from, Yeah, I'm from New York. I'm down Mount Vernon, Money Earning. Money Earning, Mount Vernon. That's from, uh, that's where. Uh, heavy. Heavy D. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an artist as well. Already. I, yeah, I, I saw you doing some uh, rhyming. Yeah, Heavy D. Yeah, that was my boy, man, the Heavy D, man. That's the man. That was yeah. the cat. That's the original king. You know what I'm talking about? I'm a diddly, diddly, diddly D. You dig? You know what I'm talking about? You don't know about that. What you know about that Heavy D? Hello? Yeah. I said, what you know about that Heavy D? I'm about to ask I can't hear you. You say you can't hear me? How you make a track? You know what it is. No, I can't hear you now. Okay. 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 So what you know about that Heavy D down there? Money earning Mount Vernon. Oh, everything, man. Like, I'm a product of, of my life. You know, I come from, like, everything is legendary. Right. You, know, you know what I'm saying? My father was producing, but my dad used to it back in the day, you know, like, you know, so I come from the heaven. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. I've been seeing you do some dope tracks, man. Oh, man, on the SWV. you just been mixing it up, man. Who, who, how did, when did you actually become a producer? Who inspired you to do that? Um, uh, uh, my, like, yeah, my pops. He inspired me. Um, I, I always had that ear for it. I just started producing hard, like, last summer. Right. And, um, it, it took off. Everybody loves the sound. It's just my ear. That's what's up, man. Like it, it's really been missing, man. Like a lot of people was like hating on that uh, when you know you use samples and stuff. And I was like, man, that was one of the things that caught my eye. That was one of the main things that that you know that I listened to when I was listening to tracks was that old style, that old sound, because it it gave you a certain feel, you know. Of, of, of remembrance, you can remember exactly what you was doing, and see when you heard certain songs, and when you bring that back and incorporate that into the new, the new movement, it just makes it even better. You know what I'm talking about? It's just like mixing the old style with the new style, and just creating something totally new, man. Like when I first heard you uh, with that SWV, both of them, you know, it just took me back, man. It just like it took me to a place, man. Like damn, like this is should have been going on, you know. So I, I, I really uh, appreciate you putting that together, man, and uh, really uh, just looking forward to your success. Yes, man, because you're really doing something that a lot of people have been afraid to do. Are you with me still? What the fuck? Vinny. Damn, bro. I think he is uh, disconnected. We're going to have to give him a call right back and uh, get him on the line. Illinois Entertainment Radio, man. We've been doing big things. Big things popping here. With Vinny on the beat. A uh, Vinny on the beat. Let me get that right. Straight out of the... Uh, straight out of... New York, man, doing big things. Y'all give me a second. We're going to get him back on here. Here, pop it. Hey, Biddy. What's poppin'? Yeah, I got you now. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, man, now you got That's... the connection. 
That yeah. sounds a lot better right there, man. A lot better. So what I was saying about the uh, SWV, when I first heard you uh, with that track, man, it just blew my mind, man. What made you go back and grab that track and, and mix it up? Um, well, SWV, that's like my favorite R&B uh, female group. Right. So, um, cause actually, my first video that actually made me get noticed and go viral was a SWV sample I did. Right. So that's what I was, that's what I need. So I did that first, and it took off it got to like eight hundred thousand views, almost a million. And then um, I did I sampled SWV about four times on wow. my, my page. People that really follow me, right. they 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 know. So like they know I sampled them a lot. I'm just so, you know, where they, uh, where they sing and the riffs and everything like that. Yeah, well, that's, that shit was dope, man. Who taught you how to play the keyboard, man? Say that again? Who taught you how to play the keyboard? Um, nah, I taught myself how to do that. It's just, it, it, it's actually really not hard to use my keyboard as a MIDI. And I just, um, I just put, I put everything together. Whatever it just sounds good, I make it, I play it. I see you did some work with some uh, some stars, a lot of work with some stars out there. I made some beats. I seen you was on uh, on when I go to your website uh, where you're selling your beats and you uh, have a picture with Rihanna. Have you made something for her? I said I went on your uh, your fa- on your uh, website where you're selling your beats at, and I see that you had some pictures with Rihanna. So have have you done any work with her or made any beats for her? Nah, uh, not yet. Hopefully real soon. Okay, that's what's up. Uh, who was, being that you in New York, man, I, you, you, I mean, this should be pretty easy, man, for you to um, actually get connected with those stars down there, with a P. Diddy or Jay-Z or something, with, you know, with the, the dopeness that yeah, you're coming with. Yeah, it, it, it's not as easy as it looks, you know, because New York is oversaturated with artists. Right. It's like a million and one people doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why I'm always trying to scout out the box and do my own thing. I don't really follow what everybody do because... We got New York is known for like just, just doing a lot of like the things that's trending. You know, so like I'm just trying to be the person that's just the way and, and do something different. Right. You know, so, but it's not, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a task like hard uh, work and, and, and dedication and you know, consistency that can take you to the top and get you really noticed. Like, I'm getting really noticed now. Yeah, so, yeah. You're getting a lot of, like, I ain't, I ain't do nothing yet. It's just coming. It's going to be a lot more. Yeah, it takes a lot of hard work, you know. Sometimes a lot of cats be in the game for a minute before they actually get picked up or they actually blow up. But the way that your beats are, 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 are just hitting and catchy, you know, it's just it's just it's, it's it's just a matter of time, man. It's just a matter of time before you uh, actually get on, man. Cause I know when I, I'm looking at the beats, I, I, I be jamming, man. You know, you you get crunk, I get crunk. Who is the other guy that be in the background that be rocking with you, man? He's like, That's my brother right there. That's my brother, Playboy Swan. Is that was that the one you were saying his birthday uh, yesterday? Yeah, that's a fact. I'm with him right now. All right. Yeah. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Shout out. You said Quan? Yeah, Quan. Happy birthday, Quan. Already, man, man. Hey, y'all boys just keep doing it. Keep bringing that heat. Keep delivering, man. Keep doing it, man, because the city is loving it. We way down here in Dallas, Texas, bro. We giving these kids something that they miss, you know? Yeah, that's man. That's the most touching music, man. That's the what older that is. cats appreciate us, and the younger cats idolize it. You exactly. Know, they don't really know much about it. Exactly, man, and it's tripping me out because you got like multiple keyboards over there, and you just you switching up, and you're going over here, and you're pushing this, and it just seemed like you just actually just creating it right there, like like that movie. Uh, what was that when he was singing that whoop that trick? You know, the same feeling I got when they had played that <laughs> a hustle and flow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a man, hustle I mean, and flow. Yeah, I do everything out of my house, and um, you know, it's a passionate thing. We do just we just in there every day, just creating, creating, creating genuinely. Oh, we love man. it. We just, we just go hard with that shit, eh? Already. Viddy, man. Viddy, you're one of my dudes, man. You're my guy, man. I'm telling you, I see you uh, You got the beats uh, on the website now, so I'm telling all my guys, man, holler at this cat here, man. This dude here. If you about to get him while they they cheap right now, because in a minute, the must is going to go skyrocket, man. I already know how the game go. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. So, what, uh-huh. I, yeah, I'm working with a legendary producer 
right now. His name is Jerry Wonder. Already. He owns Platinum. He owns Platinum Sound in New York. Right. That's the biggest studio in New York right now. So I'm working with him like he's like a mentor to me. Shout out you to Platinum Sounds, man. Shout out. All the way from Dallas, Texas, shout out to Platinum Sound, man. Vinny, you doing big things, man. So I see you got your own swag and your own style. I was checking out your pictures, man. How, who started the bottle top thing? Where did that come from? Um, just, uh, um, you know, um, just being creative, like just thinking outside the box. You're just like, yo, that's fire. We, we drink a lot. <laughs> I drink a lot of beers and stuff like that, so. <laughs> I noticed that. Beers, and then I we, see. Uh, we, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna waste them. We gonna bend them up and put them in our break. <laughs> He utilized everything from the beer bottle, you know, the tops and everything. And I saw that. I saw you in the store uh, uh, with uh, the 40s and shit, man. We we does that too, man. We kicks it down here, man. And it's good to be able to do that and, and you know, and, and perfect your craft at the same time. Who are the beautiful ladies I see you in the pictures with, man? Well, uh, I got a wifey. Okay. You know, and we always be with the girls all the time. Like, you know, we got a clique of girls that hang with us. Shout out to wifey. About that model. Like now with our team, we represent 10%, 10% of the population, 90% that follow, 90% criticize, 90% going to judge us. Right. We're going to create, we're going to take all the, all the criticism first, and then we're going to be rejected first. Already. You know, not, not, the 90% don't really understand it, so they judge us. Already, man. I see you've been doing a lot of work with Platinum Sound, so has this been going on for a while, or is this something that just occurred? I said, I see you've been doing a lot of work with Platinum Sounds. Is this something that just occurred, or is this something that's been going on for a while? Oh, it's, 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 it's fairly new. It's fairly new. Okay. At the okay. beginning of the week, I've been over there a couple times now. Okay. And I've been um, working on tracks, cutting tracks, and stuff like that. And we're going to be producing the album soon. Okay. And I'm going to be doing the mixing for it. And I'm going to be doing the I see that. I was like, yo, that, that's that's dope, man. It's good that you can vibe like that and, and collab and, you know, actually be able to work. I see one of the guys was like, okay, take this out or can you turn this off? And you were like, oh, yeah, man, I just put that in. So it's good that you're versatile like that or you're able to, you know, maneuver around the beat and chop it up and pull it in and pull it out as as you go, you know. That's a great oh, yeah, trait yeah, to have. You got to always remember, man, like everything you do is not the right thing. And sometimes you got to humble yourself because, like, I was more creative too out there. Yeah. I, I believe in that. So I'm never going to be stubborn and stuck in my ways and just think that everything I do is the best. That is a great so trait I, to I, have. I humbly, like, you know, agree or, or maybe disagree, you know? Yeah. But I'm, I'm always up for, like, trying new things. That's a great trait to have, man, to be able to be humble enough to do this and do that because you're going to get far you know everybody don't have the same taste and the same style you know styles and sound so you know when they when you're able to uh, uh do things like that then that means that you're going to get further because a lot of people is going to going to be able to dig that you are able to take you know to listen and be like okay i agree or, or i agree to disagree like you said but still be able to get the job done that's a big thing now uh, in society today where people once they have a disagreement you know a lot of producers like look this is how I made it it's already jamming you're going to take it like I get to you or you ain't going to get it at all you know a lot of people are funny with their work and stuff you know but being, being that you have people like you and I you know that could actually listen to it and, and, and you know and work with you to get you exactly what you want because you are the customer then that says a lot about your business and your brand uh -huh. definitely That's definitely I, I, um, I never let um, like the popularity and stuff overwhelm me and nothing like that. You know, I just like um, I'm more I'm more genuine and passionate about it than over anything. Like the fame and shit don't really mean nothing. I was always the popular person where I come from, so like it ain't never really like got the best of me. It's just it's regular. <laughs> Already, already, man. Being that you're from Money Under Mount Vernon, same place as my boy Heavy D, man. God rest his soul. Uh, that 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 should push you, like you say, put, push you even more to get inside the industry. I haven't, uh, besides Heavy D, I haven't really noticed a lot of people that have came from uh, Mount Vernon. Is there anyone that you could tell me of that I may not know of? Yeah, Puff Daddy, Puff Daddy came. Puff Daddy's from Money Under Mount Vernon. Yeah, Puff Daddy from Mount Money Under Mount Vernon. What? Um, wow. Yeah, he, he, orig he originated from here. He I didn't from even Mount know Vernon. that. So that's Puff something. Daddy. Was Daddy was rocking with um, Heavy D. Yeah. And yeah. Heavy D and the boys had Eddie F. Eddie F. Had 
Yeah, had a production camp. Like my pops down with Eddie F and Untouchable. Yeah. Uh, Spunk Big and Dave Paul. Um, Kenny Smooth, McCorn the Gay. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a lot of legends coming around. I'll be sure. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Heavy D was the man's like back then, like on some real shit. He was like, like a Jay Z and shit. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, yeah, he was the first. He was the first um, artist with, with his own, own record label in the, in the music industry. And he never cussed in that one of his rhymes, bro. Until like probably like the end. I think he said like one maybe. But he he was a, just a dope ass guy, dude. You know what I'm talking about? And also, uh, I heard you say I'll be sure, man. Now you talking about something back in my era? Now it's man, I'll be sure, nigga. I, I had all the girls' panties wet. You know what I'm talking about? Coming up with killing me softly, you turn it on right now. You land to get something started, boy. <laughs> I'm talking about so that, those were the days, man. That's when real music was created. So I see where you get that uh, uh-huh. style from. That's what's up. Yeah, P Rock, P Rock is already. Shout out to P Rock. Yeah, man, y'all got it's, a lot, it's a lot of legendary people. Amel, Amel is from here too. She was down with um, Jay Z, Rockefeller. Okay, okay. Yeah, she's from she's from our brother too. Uh, so if if so if that was anyone that you can work with in the industry who would that be? I thought it's the thing Denzel Washington is from there too. Well, he he he's from there. Okay, he, yeah, because he just he just is that that's why he went to when the uh, he met up with all those uh, the black people on the porch and stuff and they were saying uh, they was like with the uh, disciples or vice lords or something and he was like oh yeah I'm from the hood too it was on the news down here where he was yeah, he, he had went back yeah home. he's from Mount Vernon. Okay, that's what's up, man. See, that's a lot of stuff that I didn't even know, man. So that's what's up, man. Mount Vernon's popping like a motherfucker, which I already knew, you know. But that's that's what's going down, man. You had caught my eye with these beats, man, with the SWV snippets and the other jams that you've been doing, man. It just really got everybody on fleek and on fire down here. Just like, man, who is this guy? Where did he come from? Where is this music coming from? Because this sound has been missing. And, you know, we really would like to... Uh, uh, actually purchase some of these beats and work with you. So how could someone actually work with you, get a feature, or uh, purchase one of your beats? Well, I, I do purchases in different ways. And stuff like that. I work with a lot of artists' budgets. Like, I don't try to hit people over the head. Uh-huh. You know, I want to ask right ass, which is more than that, my beats and stuff like that. So, um, I do a lot of, um, I, the way I sell my beats, I sell it through, like, sometimes I do PayPal. So I sell through Cash App and this and some stuff to my site, depending you know, on like if a person got a different budget to what my site say, and they come up with like a different amount. More than likely, I agree to it, and I'll be like, all right, let's do it. You know, because I want people to have good music. I want it out there. Okay, and so you have you do have a, a, a site that they can go to, which is uh, www.manfromthevideo.com. Uh, yeah. And that's M A N. Yeah, www.manfromthevideo.com. Man from the video. Already. That's yeah. my name. That's that's what I'm known. That's what I'm known as. Man from the video. Okay. And that's my name on every social media. If you look up Man from the video, you'll see. If you Google it, you'll see all my accounts and everything. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, so if we wanted to Google anything, it it'll be Man from the video. <laughs> Okay. I do a lot of fashion. Yeah, I was uh, noticing that, man. Do you have your own fashion line, or, or what's popping with that? Yeah, we got we got like two, three branches of like over our movement. I'm originally in a that in a group called That Deal. So That Deal. Ten percent. Ten percent. Yeah, That Deal. D A T B E A L. Okay. Yeah, I keep see. I keep hearing you say that. Ten percent. Ten percent. What's that about? That deal is a, is a rap group. I'm originally, in a, I'm originally a rap artist. I've been rapping since I was six years old. Okay, okay. So, That's so what's up. So, there were four of us in the group. Now was three of us, so, you know, and we all do, we do individual projects as well. But we, are, we, we like best friends, and we still a group, and we do group projects, we do solo individual projects, and we all produce at the same time. We do everything. We shoot videos, we direct, we dance. We got, we, that deal came up. Came up the mainstream, uh, mainstream audience of dancing. Okay, okay. So that's what's up. So y'all, you're a man of all trades. Like you can do damn near everything, man. You make beats. You've got the modeling shit going down. You rapping. You got clothing lines. Like wow, you can do it all, huh? Yeah, hell yeah. We be on it, man. To be creative, man. Well, that, is up. 
that's what it takes these days, man. That's basically something like me, man, with the radio station and the film and the coding and everything. It's like you can't just sit in one line in one lane and think that that's gonna, you know, actually be what makes you know makes it to the top. That may not be, uh, you know, what gets you there. So you may have to try something there. So I, I, I usually just try a bunch of different things and just put. Yeah, because you, know, you never know what's gonna pop. Like, you never I never know what's gonna, gonna pop. Or they all I may pop. <laughs> Uh, what do you say? I said I never thought I would be something like I know. I was never thought about it. Never yeah. Know it, you know. What? Well, music is undeniable. Yeah. Well, music, music makes the world go round. So if all you got to do is just make the right type. Like we have a lot of artists down here that that that's coming up with new material and new music every day. And a lot of these guys are jamming, but a lot of these guys haven't got outside of of where they're from or outside of being local. And I'm letting them know that, like, if you could just get outside to the New Yorks and to the Californias and to these clubs and radio stations and let these people hear your music, then you could, you know, you have a better chance of being uh, heard abroad. But if you're just staying in your own towns and neighborhoods, then you'll just be known as a local artist. So you got to put in the well, work to get out there. Well, yeah, that's, that's, that's somewhat true. But at the same time, um, social media is the new record. Yes, so, you know, yes. You gotta, just gotta capitalize on the social media. Social media, social media puts out a real short attention span. So yeah, yeah. If you stay, if you stay consistent on it, your fan base can only go up. It can never drop. You can right. only gain a follower a day. You know, so if you put stuff out every day and, you, and people see you're passionate, they're gonna rock with you. They have no choice, even if your shit ain't dope. But people will draw to you because they like some people. Some people take um, work um, grind over over talent. Like a lot of people are like that. They like. Uh, Wow. You know, so when you when you make the two or three actually got real good shit, and then you mix the grind and then you go hard, they love it because then there's a lot of artists in the game that I used to follow heavy, and then they stop putting stuff out. And they're like, I, I don't I don't even follow them anymore because they're not being consistent. Right, right. So that consistency thing is really key. Wow. So speaking of artists, who are uh, some of your favorite artists? Oh, I'm a Nas fan. I'm a, I'm a big wow. Nas fan, but like right now, Nas. modern modern sound music. I like A$AP uh, Rocky. Okay. That's, that's my song right there. Um, what do you think uh, about the uh, the Migos? The Migos is dope. They're genius. Uh, what about Cardi B? Cardi B is genius. Uh, what about uh, Lil Bow Wow? Lil Bow Wow is genius, bro. Great. All those people you named are, are super, super, superstars. They master the art of, of, of marketing. Right. You know, they know how to market themselves and put themselves out there to the masses. And a lot of... And, you know, it's about having the best music. It's really dope. There's a lot of dope rappers that never get seen. Right. Never get noticed because they're not... They're not putting themselves out there in that the right way. They just think that they're supposed to pop like any other artist, but they don't know that. Like, what I'm doing. Like, I have a background of work that I did that make me... That, that's making me known now. I'm known now because of all the stuff I did combined. Yeah. Yeah, so it just wasn't an overnight thing. It's actually work that you put in. It took took you some work. Definitely, you got to. You got to. I mean, some artists are more fortunate to pop overnight and get lucky. Uh-huh. But that's luck, and that doesn't happen every day. But long, longevity, longevity artists are the artists that put a lot of work in. They build cult following like Wiz Khalifa. You know, people like, like dudes like, dudes like Wiz Khalifa and stuff like that. Those dudes, like, they, they last a long time they haven't got the music out they just last long because they have, they built their following already so people are going to be fans no matter what they post they're going to people are going to support them because they are automatically fans now right right I heard you say one thing earlier about the internet is the new record label and I noticed a lot of people be trying to get out and go uh, just looking for deals and things what would you say to those people that's uh, searching for uh, the record deals um well, this era and the generation we living in now, like, record labels are about to be obsolete, you know? Um, only thing a record label could really do, could really do, could really do for somebody is somebody that doesn't have any type of skills in marketing. Like, record labels just put you out there to the back and they get you in that band that you might have to hold back. Let me see if I'm bugging. Oh, the 
tempo was too slow. It was one down. That's why I kept going off. Copy. <laughs> Memorize where every key is that you fucking chop, and the shit be fucking. You be getting confused because everything is a button. So. Mm. My four, y'all. I'm tweaking. Two buttons at once by accident. We got it. Is off. You gotta add that fucking egg, catch everything. Hey, go on, watch, watch. That's too fast. Jump in. Jump in. Slide it over. You. I think this is not trying to catch me slipping. There you go. Nope, bring that back.
I'm gonna throw some fire in there, baby. You're gonna throw some fucking fire in there to bell in that bitch. And take these drums out right here, though, for a fact. Get these shits right out of here. Bing. Those is gone. The RPG there for that. Yeah. Appreciate y'all, man, for the support and the love and all the fire emojis. God damn. My fucking shit about to blow up. All this fire. Word, man. You could get beats off of uh, manfromthevideo.com. My sound, my sound was, uh, my site was messed up for a little second. So, like, nah, I don't use FL Studios. I don't use FL Studios. That's a hit, fan fact. Yo, y'all could share this video for me. Just share this shit humbly. Like, I'm gonna um. Let me see that. Yeah. Beltry this. We gotta bell treat this one time. Let me see. One time. This has to this this has to go on this beat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yo. They could be having fun, like, this shit's fun. Hey, let me see. Let me see. Um. I'm just bugging, like, turn it down, baby. Turn me down, son. <laughs> Drums with my add these drums right here, real quick, real quick, real, real quick. I'm gonna make a new note for it. So. Oh, in the second round, go around. <laughs> 